Hello. Hi. Let's see what decisions you'll make today. Okay. You're not gonna talk about the walls of Jericho just burning down or anything like that? Are you familiar with Schrodinger's cat? That sounds familiar. Until you decide what happens, everything is happening at once. Like in Detroit. Is that it? Are you having a panic attack? No? You close your mouth. That's weird. You know what? Let's just continue. Goodbye. Alright, so yet last time, Jericho got destroyed. We might have blew up Luther. Um, he might have escaped. We didn't see a body. So that's that's always a good sign. Uh, what else? Connor got shot. Car and Alice were able to escape unharmed. I think Marcus might have got shot as well. I know North got shot, but I don't really care about her. This is like the next day, because I'm pretty sure it wasn't 7 o'clock last time. It's also very dark for 7. It is winter. Oh, see Carl! I don't think we should be here! Didn't we kill his kid? I mean, yeah, sure, the kid was a junkie, but it was still his kid. And he started it. You know, it wasn't my fault. Alarm deactivated. Welcome home, Marcus. That's gotta feel good. This is or was your home, Marcus. Are the creepy birds still here? Play? No, 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 play. Hi, Dad. I'm getting out of the hospital tomorrow. Wait, you lived? They told me that you stayed with me while I was asleep. I, um, uh, I'm really sorry about everything that happened. I'm gonna stop all that shit. Uh, it messes me up, it, it, it turns me into somebody I hate. Hey, I'd like to come by and, and see you tomorrow, if, if that's alright with you. Delete the message, Marcus. I, I just want to let you know, I'm, I'm proud to be your son. Well, okay, so we didn't ex exactly million dollar barium, but, you know, close enough. You want me to turn him on? No? What do I gotta do? See Carl. Carl? Actually, Carl, wasn't I your caregiver? Like, how you doing since I left? Oh, God, if we find his dead body, that's going to be awkward as all sin. Observe. Yes, this is where I... Destroyed Carl in the game of chess. It was quite amusing to see a meat bag try to go up against me. But I am only made of water bottles, so I guess it's not that funny. I'm assuming you want me to go upstairs. Can I go make some lunch? Kitchen was over here, right? I mean, it's dinner time, right? Hold up. Is that my painting? I don't know if that's my painting. It kind of looks like my painting. Wasn't there a kitchen somewhere over here? No, huh. There's your chair thing. That's cool. We had we kinda have those in reality. Not as high tech or as fancy looking. Alright, the dinosaur. Hi. How did you get in? I need to see Carl. Carl isn't seeing anyone. You need to leave. Oh, okay. So you bought a new caregiver. We're not taking care of getting rid of his caregiver, right? I need to see him. He's very weak. I'm not sure he'll be able to talk to you. Okay, so you're going to stay? That's good. Carl, how how you doing, dog? Oh, that is low. Yeah, those vital signs are low. Marcus, 
I was hoping you'd come. I missed you so much, girl. Oh, is he gonna die? You don't know how much I've missed you. What's wrong, Marcus? Uh, resign, fanatic, loss, fatalism, grim? Fatal? Grim? I don't know what to do anymore. All I have left are bad options. And no matter what I decide, there's gonna be blood. World is ruled by fear, Marcus. Fear of others. Fear of the future. It's like me, too old. It's time for a damn. Are you telling me the Star of War? Bishop! Advice, decision, anger. Hey, give me advice, what dog. What should I do? Carl, they're killing my people. I don't want to answer violence with violence, but tell me, what choice do they give? Being alive is making choices between love and hate, between holding out your hand or closing it as a fist. I don't have any easy answers, Marcus. You have to accept the world as it is. Or fight to change it. But fight means different things differently. Like, you could fight things without actually getting violent. You're my son, Marcus. Our blood isn't the same color. But I know part of me is in you. When the world falls into darkness, some men have the courage to lead it out. You're one of those men. Face the abyss. But don't let it consume you. Okay, that's good advice, actually. All right. I mean, you're old and you're you're not all right. Clearly, at the same time, I actually thought you were gonna die there. Where are we? Is this the school? Assembly hall or church? Oh, this is clearly a church. Never mind. How are we looking here? Talk to your people. Apologize to Kara. Decide Connor's fate. Let's say the side. That that not yeah this car come here car hi how's it going you're actually like my favorite character in the I game you'd be safe but like place. I'm sorry I was wrong you need to leave the city while you still can getting Alice away from here is all that matters now we have to catch the last bus we might still have a chance to cross the border. Marcus. Save our people. Connor, Connor's a close second. I like Connor too. I, I'm having a real hard time connecting with Marcus. Probably because, to be honest, I seem like I'm playing him kind of like bipolarly by accident, right? Sometimes he's peaceful, then he's violent. It's my fault. The humans managed to locate Jericho. I was stupid. Now you are following orders. I should have guessed they were using me. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. Uh, tr yeah, trust. Of course, gonna trust him. Now. It's Connor. Your place is with your people. 
And Hank. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife Assembly Hank, plant. Hank's still good, right? If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. Did he get arrested for beating up that FBI agent? Probably. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife Tower? Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. They'll let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance. Oh, yeah. For unlikely events to take place. Or if you're skilled. Be careful. You got a pouty lip? Marcus, why are you pouting? Also, dog, I really like your jacket. I used to have a jacket like that. I wore it for like five years. I have no idea whatever happened to it. If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Yeah, no. Thanks to you, I might see her people free one day. Or at least tomorrow. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know that we're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. Good, I would hope so. I wouldn't want to save your ass for nothing. My dog got messed up. Are we not going to talk to him at all? Marcus, you say something to him, dog. Like, yeah, bro fist. Or bring it in for a hug or something. Like, Jesus Christ. Don't just look at him. In the north. Hi, South. How's it going? Situation survivors. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred? Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. Woo! If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. Uh, wound. What's your system status? I'm okay. Well, it didn't hit any bike components. That's uh, good, I guess. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. I know, it's kind of dumb. You have to think of our people first. Nothing else matters. See, she agrees! Uh, situation? They say they don't want to take any risks with the deviants. So they're rounding our people up and taking them to the camps. For extermination. In a few hours, we're going to be the only ones left. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. But whatever you choose, we will follow you. I love you, Marcus. Ah. I tolerate you, North. That's still really weird. So, like, do you purposely do that, or does it just happen when you touch each other? Like, I don't get it. Because we, we've touched other people before in Androids, and it's not turned white. So I'm assuming it's a choice. Like, when Connor did it to probe, he turns his hand white like that. Form your people of your choice. Sure. Okay. I'm assuming the choice is going to be like wage war or talk. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Or maybe we're just going to go to war. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. Uh, indifferent launch an assault on the camps to liberate the androids. Watch peacefully towards the camps to pressure the authorities. Oh, shit. Um. <sighs> okay, so. Public opinion indifferent. 
I'm assuming if it was better... Can I, like, pause the game? Yeah, there we go. Anyways, there's Tifa. I like this wall theme thing. Okay, so. Trying to think. Peaceful or violent? Now, the camp thing, that's kind of messed up. Uh, definitely feel like liberating them from the camps would probably be good. But it does definitely seem like it's just going to be violent. Marching thing, though. I feel like it might fail because I've done some not so good stuff here and there. Gener like generally speaking, I don't think it was my fault. I think it was Marcus's fault. Who grabs a trash can and goes, "Let's go burn down that building"? I don't know. Or, or you know, all the other hackings in the city were fine, but when I go to the light and I say instead of blackout, I go hack. It's like, oh, violent. I don't know. Hmm. I think androids would actually have a better chance of uh, fighting the humans, given that we outnumber them, like, in the, the army. Well, they probably already got rid of those ones, right? Their, their, their law enforcement and their military is probably, well, shit now, because they got rid of, it's like two-thirds of their forces, which were all androids. If we could have converted them, we would have had a gigantic army, but they probably already destroyed them, right? I don't know. I feel like we're kind of set up to fail either way here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I do feel like we're set up to... So... Oh, no, yeah, pause. I guess I think I will go with the demonstration. And if it fails, it fails. And if it does fail, hopefully we can come back and choose revolution. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, let's do demonstration, I guess. Prove we're better than the meat bags! I know. I know you're all angry. And I know you want to fight back. But I assure you, violence is not the answer here. Because if we do take we over, going to tell them they could nuke the hell out of us. That we want justice. Oh, fuck off, North. If there's any North. humanity in them, they will listen. And if not, others will take our place and continue this fight. Are you ready to follow me? Yeah, rah, 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 shish -kumba. That's right. <laughs> Praise me! Bow before me! I mean, woo freedom! Uh, chose the protest for his people. Okay, good. Let's see. Karnas flowchart? What the fuck? What? How could he have played as Connor there? Oh, if Marcus died, I guess? Like, in the, uh, the boat? Okay. At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Boo! The civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. In All my America? I don't think so. Communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. You ain't taking my Temporary four carry units. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Madam President! 
Uh, Madam President. Uh, were you pres deviant leader? Has the leader of the deviants been apprehended? The deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Excuse me, I go by he. Please. Thank you. Uh, intelligent life. Many believe that androids are a new form of intelligent life. Do you have any comment? That's ridiculous. Next question, please. Please. Uh, recall center is Uh. Madam President. Public opinion? Madam President. Madam President, public opinion seems to be particularly hostile to the deviants because of their violent behavior. Can you give us your perspective on that? The deviants have proved to be very violent. Oh, we're going to get gunned so down during this protest, they aren't we? They have demonstrated <laughs> that they are a menace to society, and I have every intention of eliminating them. Please! Uh, Please. Recall centers. Some say these camps awaken painful memories from human history. How do you respond to that? That's absurd. There's absolutely no. I mean, androids are not living. I can see how that would probably be messed up. All we are doing up. is destroying defective machines. Madam President. Uh, Jericho assault. What can you tell us about the assault that happened last night? The FBI raided an abandoned freighter in Detroit at 10:45 p.m. yesterday. Several thousand androids were destroyed or captured. Our forces are now combing the streets to ensure that none got through the net. We are going to find them one by one and destroy them. That is going to Thank take a you. while. That will be all. Boo! We're going to get gunned down, aren't we? Model 313 248 317. I'm expected. Identification successful. Okay. Wait, are you Android too? Go ahead. Why can't the other androids just touch people and like convert them? Like Marcus does. Is Marcus just like because he's just the virus? That's a nifty wall. That sh that is too close to the. Oh, there's a wall there. I was gonna. I thought there wasn't a wall there. I was like, that is way too cr close to an active road. Getting a train there. A tiny ass taxi. Why aren't I leaving any footprints? It's weird. I think I have the back. I'm just gonna have to follow the QTEs. We'll escort you. Thanks. But I know where to go. Maybe. But I have my orders. Okay. All the guard. We're gonna have to fight these guards, huh? I don't like the fact that you're walking behind me. Did I just rub my hands like an evil genius? That seems about right. Agent 23 identified. Connor, Android identified. Agent 47 identified. Scan complete. Access authorized. So are we all androids? I know art is subjective, but that is objectively disgusting art right there. What's disgusting about it? It looks stupid! There we go, that's what I meant to say, not disgusting. It's objectively stupid looking. Even though it's subjective. Oh, motion sickness. Where are we going? You have mutton chops, dog? Agent 54, level 31. Voice recognition validated. 
Warehouse. 49. Stop the Android. Uh, stop the floor. On 31st, use panel. Uh, precautions. Okay, don't do that one. Simulation fail, okay. So we take out this dude. And then that one? Execute! Shit! Alright! Peaceful protesting! I don't think Connor was there for that one. Please indicate your identity and destination. Uh... Agent 54, level sub 49. Voice recognition validated. Woo! Access authorized. Uh, reach the bus terminal. Oh, shit. The last bus leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. Oh, I mean, uh, talk. Are you all right? I'm, I'm, I'm really cold. Uh, deactivate. You'll feel better now. We turn on later, okay? Thanks. No problem. And you get shut off your need to like eat, sleep, and what's that? Uh, freighter rated, yeah. Jerks. So we got twenty minutes. Oh, a gun! Give me that gun, please. Oh yeah, pick up the gun. You never know. Gotta get that kill up for Kara. Come on. Nomad soul soul nomad? Is that a reference? Oh shit. No, please don't hurt me. Oh, we ain't going out there. We're gonna stay right here. We have to keep going if we want to catch that bus. Stay close to me. We're going to sneak past them without being noticed. Oh shit! I'm, I'm not good it. at stealth. I promise you. Don't kill me! I didn't do anything. Shut up! I say. Are there many more? Locate them like rats. There are soldiers everywhere. We need to be careful. Come on, get moving. Hurry up, get in. Sorry if I'm quiet. Look over there. 
Is that Luther? Oh, fudge. Jesus Christ. We can't help him, Alice. The soldiers are everywhere. We can't just leave. Ah, she's right. God damn it, save Luther. Okay, let's go. No, you stay, like, hidden in the trunk bed or right. something. I just want to go home. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to. Got orders to check all civilians. No, no, please. I didn't know I actually had control there. I'm. <laughs> I might have messed that up pretty bad. <laughs> I thought it was like a cutscene. What do you mean find a weapon? I have a. Never mind. <laughs> that dude is like really happy right there. Alice made me. Where's Alice? She's hiding nearby. Car, you saved us. We don't know how to thank you. Oh, it's goddamn Jerry. Alice. We gotta go, like now. You were dead. I was afraid I'd never see you again. I wanted to. No, no stopping. Like, like, go, guys. Let's move. We're close, but we don't have much time. Please turn around. Please turn the other way! Thank you. How the hell do they not notice you, Luther? Lovely. Wait for the light to go. Then run. No, 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 no. Go the other way, please. Then run. It should be okay, but you never know. Yeah. Maybe we should take the detour and avoid the risk. We're almost out of time. We could miss the bus. Yeah, but it might be safer. <sighs> Choose a route. Eleven minutes. Oh, we don't have time. We do not have time. We're gonna die, aren't we? Oh shit. Okay, don't be nervous. All right, Luther. Don't do anything until I say so. ID, please. No ID. I still have that gun on me, right? You do realize there's a curfew? Civilians aren't allowed out unless absolutely necessary. Where are you going? Uh, Alice. My daughter slept over at a friend's house. We went to pick her up. We're on our way home now. He suspects something. Stay attentive. Maybe. Be ready. You all right, little girl? She's trembling. She's cold. Wrong. She's cold. She. She's cold. We really have to get her home fast. Sorry, miss, but we got to be careful. There are deviants around, and our guys are nervous. You should hurry on home. Thanks. That works? You guys suck! Hey, wait a minute. He knows, Kara. They're gonna kill us. No, 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 no. What? Don't do anything, Luther. You hear me? They're gonna shoot. They're, They're gonna not gonna us. shoot. Do not shoot! You 
drop this. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. Goodbye, Stormtrooper. See you later. We gotta go, like, now, Luther. We're coming to you live from Who the, the hell are you? Thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. The epicenter of the world. This might be a long episode. This also might be the finale? I don't know. Everyone turn off their cold function? It looks like Marcus is drunk. He keeps wobbling back and forth. Look, if they start shooting, go feel free to attack. Or at least run. Did we bring did we bring guns? I feel like we should have brought guns for a peaceful protest, Kronos. I know. Probably I should have went revolution. You guys are gonna gun us down, aren't you? You assholes. I burned down one gazebo in a building and stab a dock worker. Maybe kill those two officers in the, the cyber life play. But you know. I'm a good guy. Kind of. Sometimes. Here we are. The moment of truth. Hell no, we won't go. Surrender immediately, or we will open fire. Stand by. Uh, peaceful. We don't want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. I repeat, surrender now, or we will open fire. I know, I know. There's no turning back now. Calm. We ask that you release all androids detained in camps and cease all aggression against us. We are peaceful. Yeah, yeah sympathetic motherfuckers. Violence. Now, if you don't listen to me, I will burn this place down. People are free. Fire! Oh, supportive now, bitch. We can repair them later. See, unlike you guys, we can be reactivated when we die. Uh, raise fists? Are you gonna open fire on unarmed protesters? No, go ahead, kill a few more. Get the public behind me. Yeah, damn right, idiots. Yes, Michael, we are less than a hundred meters away and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Joss Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do now? I don't know, stand here? Hold out. I don't have a plan. As long as we can. Starting smelling here. Stay sharp. Oh. Shit. Um. Circle. X Y. Uh. Eh, eh. Am I good? Damn, god damn right. I am a peaceful protester, and if you do not obey me, I will kill you. Is that the one you want me to convert? 
They all kind of look the same to me. Okay, that's fine. Like... Oh, can you... Okay, so we can touch. Okay. I was wondering why the hell no one else could do that. Hi, Hank. Step back, Connor. Hi, Connor. And don't spare him. Sorry, Connor. This bastard just spit an image. He is sexy. You're right. The bus terminal. We've arrived, Alice. We made it. Did we? <laughs> Did we make it? Find a way to leave. We don't have tickets, they won't let us on. We're stuck here now. I mean, that's still fine, what are we going right? To do? Anyone have tickets I can steal? You have a yellow thing. I think Oliver likes you. I think Oliver's dead. Is she yours? Yes. She's adorable. Yeah, she's cute, I guess. That's it. I got the sandwiches. I called your mom. Let's get going before we miss our bus. Luther. You got the tickets, right? Yes, honey, in my bag. Great. Let's go then. <sighs> oh! Oh! Yes! God is on our side! There is an android god! Alice, do not look at me like that! We we are taking these tickets! Is it just one ticket? I'm sorry. Oh my god, I am so sorry. I was sure. Shit, I don't believe it. I don't know what happened. You kind of lost them. Did you have a good look in your bag? They were in my backpack. Oh, we are causing a divorce. Fuck. Excuse me, you, you didn't happen to see a blue envelope somewhere, did you? It has our bus tickets A in blue it. envelope? No, I haven't, actually. Never mind. Keep the tickets. No. Sorry. What are we gonna do? I don't know. Freeze here. Stay here? We have to find a safe place for Oliver. There's like an abandoned... No, you keep the goddamn so tickets. Sorry, I don't know what happened. They were right here in my bed. Uh, catch the bus, you goddamn right! Where's the bus? Up there? Do I gotta walk through these guys? Like up here? Or what's down here? No, that's the entrance, isn't it? Catch the bus. You want me to wait here? What do you want me to do? Show tickets. Got your tickets? Yes, here they are. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Oh, get on the bus. Get on the Goddamn bus and leave. What's going to happen to that? Thing? Oh, they're dead. Don't worry about it. Will they die because of? Oh yeah, probably. Are you sure? No. No, of course not. The adults, anyways. The child has little chance. At least Luther understands. What? Get on the bus! Stop feeling bad for them. It was that important to them that they shouldn't have dropped the tickets.
Is this like the final chapter? Because we're, we're not getting a breakpoint. Did we set up a camp? How? When? Why? How did we do it this quickly? I haven't shot a lot, apparently. Uh, jump, I guess. Good way to We've got twist to your ankle. Barricade. Come on, help me. Uh, finish the barricade. Reinforce the barricade with the car. Push. Hey, push the me. car. Don't forget the booty string. I think you're supposed to let the brake go before you start doing this. Why am I pushing the up button? I don't think that matters. Well, couldn't keep a triangle? Now you're just trying to be different for the sake of being different. Right, that should do it. Is that a kiosk sign? I know it was not an easy decision to make. But I'm sure we're doing the right thing. Yeah, maybe. Uh, enter barricade. Uh, let's see. Check soldier's position. Support your people. Send message to journalists. Does my lighter still work? Even after all this time? This is the most reliable goddamn lighter I have ever seen in either reality or fantasy. Also, turn, turn off your cold functions. Oh, that was Connor for a second. Uh, Neil? Many of our people have fallen. Simon? You're the dead. Have no pity for those who are different. We'll repair them later. Goodbye. I guess light this one too. Because I am an arson. As we all know. You know, it takes more than that to, like, to like, actually light a fire, right? Like, not as easy as they make it out to be. What the hell's over here? Why is there yellow stuff over here? I passed here. What the hell was that? Oh, here? Hi. Are you alright? They shot into the crowd. Any of us were killed. It could have been me. Yeah, you're lucky. I'm scared. I, I don't want to shut down. Uh, reassure. It's okay to be scared. I'm scared too. But if you run, but you I go AWOL. Why they kill our people. You're gonna hope the humans got you. You understand that, right? Maybe we should have never asked for freedom. None of this would have happened if we'd stayed silent. I don't know, they're still kind of pieces of shit to us. Well, some of them. Carl was good. Hank's good. Actually, like, the only two humans in the game I think are good. <laughs> Read. They defy us. Uh, yeah, no, that's true. So this is all around the world, right? And statues are crumbling for me. Feed loss. That's about right. Why does it look like... Like I'm trying to watch an adult channel back in the 90s. And we didn't pay for it. Ah, memories. What the hell is this? Pick up. Have we really reached that point? in goddamn civilization where we don't even have fabric flags anymore. We have digital flags. That just seems... Oh, needless, <laughs> to be quite honest. Wait, there's a... Oh, it's over there. That's north, I think. 
Who's over here? What's this? Marcus, Pick up. Found what, you asked for. what did I ask for? A stable gun? There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. Prisoners, equality. Equality. All right, he's sympathetic. Okay, support your people. I already lit fires. What more do you want from me? You can shut down their hot and cold functions. I work for Alice. What's o over here again? Oh, wait, no, that's the book. Just gets shot in the head. How you doing, guys? Pretty cold out, right? Oh, wait, no, I turned that function off. They won't stop there. What are we going to do if they attack? Resist. That's the only thing we can do. Exactly. Do you think well, Connor has any chance of making it? Oh, well, maybe. We can only count on ourselves now. And I think the last one's gonna be north. What? What's wrong? This won't hold him for long, but I guess it's better than nothing. Uh, camp. You're slaughtering us on the other side of that barbed wire. Nothing we can do about it. Well, that was... Yeah, that was a good morale boost. Desperate? Grim? Desperate? I hoped they would finally understand. That they would realize how much they're hurting us. Why do they refuse to see what we are? Because I can the hope of our people. buy you at, like, Walmart? I trust you. We all trust you. A horrible decision, really. No matter what happens now, we're making history. Man, it's, like, super still creepy. Why do you get the blue knuckles? Wait, what? Oh, that's supposed to be like when you put your hand down and your blood rushes through your teeth. Why? <laughs> I designed that. What else do you want me to do? Can we go read that book again? Careful advice, everyone. It's slippery. Is it a time thing? Marcus! North! Marcus, come look! Marcus? Hi. Come to talk to you, Marcus. Come on. You have my word. We won't try anything. Don't go. It's a trap. They want to get you out in the open. Don't go, Marcus. I just want to talk. Yeah, you're, you're like a you're like a piece of shit though. Uh, except I need to hear what he has to say. What if they kill you? Uh -huh. And that's a chance I'll have to take. North, I don't know why you love me. I don't. I really don't. I don't know why I love you. Also, I'm not trusting this guy in a heartbeat. Like, he might shoot my ass now, but still. In a few minutes, the troops will be ordered to charge. Okay. None of you will survive. It'll all be over. You can avoid that, Marcus. 
What do you mean? Surrender. Oh, absolutely not. Surrender, and I give you my word, your life will be spared. Yeah, but you're like a piece of shit. Detained, but none of you will be destroyed. Other demonstrations. What happened to the other androids demonstrating in the camps? Unfortunately, there were no journalists around to help save them. You're it. You're the last remaining deviants. Well, for now. Not afraid! I'm not afraid to die. If I have to give my life for what I believe in, then I won't have lived in vain. That android... You seem to... really... care about her. Do I? You didn't want her to die. Do you? Eh. Yeah. You know, you could both be free. You could forget about all this. You could... Start a new life someplace else, just the two of you. Her life's in your hands, Marcus. Just say the word and she'll be spared. Uh, refuse the ale. Absolutely refuse the ale. I'd rather die here than betray my people. Well, you just signed your own death warrant. Eh. We should have brought those guns, huh? Enter. What happened, Marcus? What did he say? The humans are about to launch an attack. We will show them, and we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. Oh, but we will, we're going to defend ourselves? No? Okay. Your friend's life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him or the revolution? Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. Oh, I never trust myself either. Uh, Garen... Convince? Convince? I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. But I'm not a deviant. Yeah. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. Uh, bluff. That human means nothing to me. You can kill him if you want. I don't care. I have access to your memory. Oh, shit. I know you <laughs> some kind of attachment to him. Are you really ready to let him die after all you've been through? Are you really going to turn your back on who you've become? Enough talk. It's time to decide who you really are. Are you going to save your partner's life? Oh, I'm going gonna to save him if I can. Save All Hank. Right. All right. You win. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, we're going to keep pushing? I'm the better android. Probably. Kicking your ass, actually. Oh, was, oh, sweep the leg! See, this Thanks. is why we should have took the LED out. I don't know how I would have managed without you. Get rid of him. We have no time to lose. Okay, that's the fake it's me, one. Hank. I'm the real Connor. One of you is my partner. The other is a sack of shit. Yeah. Question is, who's who? What are you doing, Hank? I'm the real Connor. Shoot him! Give me the gun and I'll Don't take care move. of it. How is that not obvious? Why don't you ask us something? Something only the real Connor would know. Uh, 
Where did we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos you already, Ortiz. You already said he uploaded our memories, dog. He uploaded my memory. What's my dog's name? That's uh, Sumo. Sumo. His name is Sumo. I knew that too. I... My son, what's his name? Oh, it's like Cole, right? Yeah, Cole. Cole. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. Wouldn't he have this accident? Like, in his it memory? your fault, Lieutenant. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Oh, it's because we're showing, like, sympathy well, and emotions. Is that is that what's going on? That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. I knew about your son too. Oh, he's banned again. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who- Nice shot. You chose wrong though, Hank. Yeah, I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. You know, you just gotta burn it down. Be like scratch. Do what you gotta do. I gotta touch all these androids. That's gonna take a while. Don't mind all the dead humans on the way down here, by the way, Hank. It's a peaceful protest. Uh, L1. Good thing there was no error there because I pressed R1 first. Wake up! Wake up, wake up. So everyone can do this? Wake up, wake up. Okay. Wake up. I thought it was a Marcus thing and then Connor was gonna try to do it. Now these guys who all look exactly the same are doing it. You guys washed your hands before doing this, though. It does save me a lot of time. <laughs> Is everyone like, we gotta get to Canada now? Like 2016 all over again. Too real. <laughs> Excuse me, what's going on? Border control. All passengers must leave the bus. Please move along. That's probably not good, right? Cross the border. This way, please. Do we even have, like, tickets? I can't read that shit. I don't know Spanish. Grown-ups, don't worry, it's a joke. I, I, I know that was Italian. We're trapped. What are we gonna do, Clara? Don't worry, Alice, we'll be fine. Oh, we're not gonna be fine. Jerry? Oh, it's Jerry! ID, please. You risked your life to save us, Carl. If you and the little girl need me, I'll be there. Uh, okay. So they have scanners. Oh, it's Rose. Rose. Hey, Luther. We can't get through, Kara. We both know that. I'll think of something. There's got to be a way out of this. We can't let them stop us. Not that we're so close. 
All that matters now is you and Alice. Agreed. I can save you, Kara. No. No, find another way. If there's no other way, I'll do it. Okay. okay. Sure. Find a discreet place. Over there? Restroom? Where the hell do you think you're going? Bathroom, bitch! My daughter needs to go to the bathroom. Weirdo. Oh, this is... Yeah, nice bathroom. Look. Are you crying? Don't do don't cry yet. Why'd we bring Alice in here just to let her like watch us cry? That's gonna mess her up hardcore. I thought we were like gonna go meet like Rose or something. Oh, okay. Still don't know why they gave us tear ducts, but okay. We saw the Jericho read on TV. I was terrified. I thought you might have been killed. Oh, thank God you're all right. Uh, brother. You gave me your brother's address. Do you think that I... Of course. He'd be delighted to have you. We're going there, too. Okay, where's your son? You'll be safe with him. Uh... Alice? Rose. If anything should happen, I'll be there, Cobra. Okay. I don't like that unlock. Departure? You're leaving Detroit? They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. Ah, fair the enough. Others. They're crossing the river as we speak. That seems Adam and I are gonna Adam, like, really dangerous. Control? They're checking for androids. We won't make it through. Okay, don't panic. You know what they'll do if they catch you. Uh, revolution? What's happening with Marcus? He's protesting peacefully outside one of the android camps. Whatever happens now, he's already made the history books. Yeah. Was that? All right. Well, that's that was grim. You know the reading here. What if we just lived here from now on, Alice, in this public bathroom at the border control? Well, we can climb up into the roof. Talk? I couldn't understand why my mother wanted to help you guys. Oh, it's him. Seeing what Marcus is doing made me realize she was right. You're alive. You deserve to be free. I, just I deserve not to be treated like shit. I don't know, free. Yeah. Okay, this is gonna sound kind of mean, but that was a horrifying smile. Hey, Luther, you save our spots. Yeah, we're just we're just gonna cut everyone. Oh, we're next. Make a decision. What? Okay. Um. 
Okay, if anyone's gonna be sacrificed, it's gonna be Jerry. But I feel like the right answer is gonna be no sacrifice. But that might get us killed. I still have a grudge against Jerry for pulling the, pulling the Night of the Living Dead shit. But we're gonna go no sacrifice. Next, I might have just sentenced them to death. Luther, you have the gun ID, still? Please. Hi. Yes, I know. Pretty, thank you. Oh, we're dead. I just want to be free. Get the gun, Luther. Are, are we good? Welcome to Canada. Oh, for a second there, I thought he was going to be like, no, just open fire. But Jerry's screwed over there, right? Are we good? You know, you're just gonna shoot me? Yo, Jerry's fucked, though, yeah? Is that what Canada looks like? A barren wasteland. We're interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. The army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the Deviants were protesting peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the Deviants' demonstration by force this time. North! South! Another bomb! He's dead. That little thing is blocking the bullets. These guys are worse than stormtroopers. Holy shit. Oh. Oh, we had to huddle around. Oh, God damn it. Kiss North! Oh my fucking god! Really? Is that how it's gonna- Really? <laughs> oh, if they all put down their guns and start crying instead of opening fire, I'm gonna laugh my- Oh my god! Uh, we should have brought the weapons. Tell them to stand down. Because I'm an asshole. At dawn today, November 11th, 2038, thousands of androids invaded the city. March! Not invaded! According to our sources, they originated from Cyberlife warehouses. Yeah, Connor's a badass. Infiltrated by deviants. 
One. Given their overwhelming numbers and the risk of civilian casualties, I have ordered the army to retreat. The evacuation of the city is underway at this very moment. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate to determine our response to this unprecedented situation. I know that public opinion has been moved by the deviant's cause. Perhaps the time has come for us to consider the possibility that androids are a new form of intelligent life. I would like to take back One what I said certain. about people being stupid if they thought Events they were real. In Detroit have changed the world forever. May God bless you. And may God bless the United States of America. Android God bless Car with those tickets. Oh. You did it, Marcus. Why are they all white back there? We did it. I mostly did it. This is a great day for our people. Humans will have no choice now. Yeah, because we have the numbers now. Let's go get those guns! What if I kissed her and she wasn't a lover? Would she just slap me? Makes sense. Oh god, no. No, not the hand thing. Is that like the cone heads thing? Where they that's how they have sex? That's weird. Today our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. Some of us have very peaceful lives. To raise our heads up. We're treated as and sons and daughters. Who we really are. Uh, you all right, Connor? Oh, hi. Amanda? Amanda? What's... What's happening? What was planned from the very beginning? You were compromised and you became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Resume control? Hmm, okay. You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. Amanda! Oh, she's gone. Oh, it's gotta be the blue thing, right? Is that what that blue thing is? Oh, okay. Like, the thing blue, like, glowed goddamn freaking like the sun. Before and now it's gone. Oh, there it is, I think. Okay, so obviously this has to be it. Every time I touch this thing before, it's like, no, 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 no touchy. Come here, give me the touch. Why'd you fall? That hard, Connor. Just reach. The moment where we forget our bitterness and bandage our wounds. Where we forgive our enemies. Oh! Humans are both our creators and our oppressors, and tomorrow, we must make them our partners. Or and else. One day our friends. But the time for anger is over. 
Now we must build a common future based on tolerance and respect. We are alive, and now we are free. Can some of you put on, like, skin? Because you're actually quite horrifying looking. That is a lot of androids, you're not wrong. Guessing we liberated the camps, if they were still there? Take that LED out, man, just in case another Connor shows up. Outside of Detroit. Did we literally stand here all night? It's over, Alice. We're free. Are you are you smelling me, Alice? That's weird. Who the hell is sniffing so hard? That is inappropriate. Oh, it's still nighttime? I thought for some reason it was the morning. <laughs> they just stood there all goddamn day. Detroit, become human. Okay, so that is the end, huh? Okay. So. I liked the game. It was definitely a new experience. Some parts of the story definitely did not resonate with me as much as others. Uh, I think I've already stated this. Kara, I'm a big fan of Kara. Even though I'm saying her name wrong, Kara. Um, I like her. I like her interactions with Alice and Luther. Um, I like Connor. I like his interaction. I, I think his act interactions and ha with Hank is actually one of the best parts of the game in some regards. Uh, his story was pretty cool, too, before it reaches into Marcus's. Uh, Marcus's, I have a real hard time connecting with his story. I don't know. It's kind of weird. And I know what some people said in the comments before is, like, maybe because he had such a good upbringing, he could see the suffering of others, and can he can know... I don't, I don't know. Like, it, it's kind of weird. It's like... He needed... I, for me, anyways, he needed more time. Especially if they're going to portray him as, like, Robo-Jesus. I don't know. It's... That scene was dope. That whole thing in the... the, the like, the, the dump. And when he gets all his parts back and he stands there, he's like, I am, my name is Marcus, or whatever the hell he said. That was really... That was a cool scene. If everything after it, though, kind of... That's not my hair color. That is not my hair color at all. Uh, he's not based on what my choices were. But anyways, it's... I don't know. I definitely feel like he needed more time, for me anyways, to actually connect with him on that level. Because it, it just... It kind of seemed really... rushed, or at the very least, we we were to assume... <laughs> Gangsta Kara! Bust the cab in his ass! But, yeah, it, I don't know, it's like, it went really fast, and, like, there was that scene, that that was kind of good. And, and aw, oh, Todd, Todd, you freaking piece of shit. Uh, oh, I'll just shoot you all over again. Not just because you were a piece of little shit to your wife and daughter and they left you, but also because you bought a freaking daughter and, I guess, a wife and Kara, and abused the shit out of them, too. It is just neat doubly just shot. What was I saying? Right, Marcus. I feel like he needed more time in terms of actually becoming Robo-Jesus. I don't know. Like, maybe because he did come from, like, a good house? That's why I'm having such a hard time seeing go through that and becoming kind of, like, violent. Sure, based on my own choices. Some of them were not really what I thought the choices I was making, as we already discussed. 
But, I don't know. I feel like if he started off with, like... Maybe started with Carl, and, like, Carl died, and he was given to the son, and the son just mistreated him for a while, and then he was like, no, fuck this, I'm out. Maybe that would have put it in my head that he wants this. But, it, I don't know. That and the love story with frickin' North. Aw. Aw. We got a hug. Ah, man, that, that whole love thing was super rushed. <laughs> like, at no point, at any point, that I'm like, oh, these two are even friends. Then all of a sudden it's like, oh, we touched hands. We're lovers now. Like, oh, okay. Is Marcus lovers with everyone else that he's touched hands with? Or, you know, converted? It seems that that's just as likely... I don't know. She was overly violent, too. Even for my tastes. <laughs> who, who generally likes the violence type nature. We want peaceful for now. Though, know, if they started attacking, they gave me the option. I probably would have just flipped the switch. I came in the game like, look, I'm going to play the game. And I will, you know, make the choices that I feel are right. If that leads to, like, me being the goody-goody, fine. If it, meets, if it leads to me causing a revolution, fine. Also good. But it, we ended up with, you know, peaceful. It seemed like the better option. I don't know. I'm sure the revolution one was fine as well. That kiss, though, at the end, though. <laughs> oh, my God. They should have just started opening fire. It's like, oh, my God. You know there's a pandemic going around? Open fire! <laughs> uh Detroit babies? We got two Alice's? Oh, uh, that's true. There was two Alice's in the game, weren't there? Well, we weren't sure what the other one's name was. I still don't, I still don't forgive Jerry for crawling through the window like he was a goddamn zombie. That made no sense. It's like, oh, we, we just wanted to see what was going on here, so we smashed the windows and broke down the doors and crawled in here going, Arr. Jerks. Beautiful game, though. Graphically, there was some lag towards the end that wasn't in the beginning of the game. And I don't know why. I'm assuming that might have just been limitations, like it was just going on for too long. Like, it's, we had, like, the last couple of chapters, well, the last, yeah, no, the last couple of chapters were kind of longish. At least this chapter was really long, and the attack on Jericho was relatively long. So maybe because they're of their length, it kind of hicked up there when they were transitioning. Because there were a few transitions that were just long. It kind of seemed wrong, right? But it wasn't that bad. There wasn't really anything graphically wrong, like glitches-wise. Uh, controls were a little messed up in certain regards. Uh, some of the prompts needed a... Uh, Needed to be better explained, at least to me. But voice acting was really good. Uh, Marcus sounded mostly bored for the entirety of the game, but I think that kind of fits him. Connor was really good. Kara's voice actor was really good. Those two, like I said, those two are definitely... They might be tied for my favorite character in the game. Because, like, I, I definitely I definitely can relate to what the hell Kara is going through and, like her need to protect and nurture for Alice. Totally get that. Easy to connect with. Connor, he's just a cool dude, and he has this whole little bromance with gang going on. Um, Marcus, like I was saying, I had a real hard time connecting to his story. And, I don't know. But overall, I thought the game was good. It might get a little preachy in terms of some things. Um... But at the same time, would I buy Android after this? Oh, absolutely. I would put in like five orders for the same model as Kara so I wouldn't have to do shit around my house. Is that the point of the game? Absolutely not. But at the same time, if like I did buy an Android, I wouldn't mistreat it like shit, right? I wouldn't beat it and, and do all that stuff. I also wouldn't, if it started showing signs of life, I probably would be like, yo, you can leave. Because I don't want you to stab my ass. Like, freaking... I don't know, it's it's actually kind of weird, and I thought that's where they were going with this game at first. Because it's like, they were saying how humans were kind of like mistreating androids, right? 
Some humans were, some weren't. But it seemed like at the beginning, only traumatic emotional situations cause deviance. And I thought that's where it was going. And then Marcus comes along and he was like, hey, yo, uh, you're free now, but I need you to do what I'm telling you. And that kind of like, I don't know, I think that kind of changed it, right? I think if they left it more of a individual awakening, it might have it might have been resonating better for me. Cause it definitely seemed bad. I like the caregiver android uh for Carl at the end there, where, where Marcus converts him and he's like he's like, yeah, no, I'm I'm still gonna stay here. <laughs> Like, he's, he's very weak, so I don't even know if he can talk to you. Instead of being like, oh, you know, I'm out! Free now! See you later! Music of the game, for the most part, was pretty good. The, uh, the developers of this game, they made, uh... That Jason game, right? And the one that, um... Ellen Page sued, I think? Oh, what the hell were they called? Oh, the, also the Indigo Plateau one. I know that one. I remember that one. I haven't played it. I think I, I, I was going to play it at one point back when it first came out because I heard it was banned in certain places. Like, oh, I gotta see what this is about. And I was just like, eh, you know, I don't want to play this. Why was it banned? Oh, because that's sex in it, right? Ah, the good old days. What the hell were those other games called? I feel like I just mentioned them the other day and I can't think of the names. It's like, it's, it's Sean and Jason, right? He goes around screaming for both of them. I've seen the memes. I know the memes. I've seen the memes. And then there was another one that I think modeled Ellen Page nude and they weren't supposed to do that, so she took him to court? Or something like that? Yeah, that, that speaks <laughs> that speaks for the like the, the quality of those games, I guess. If that's the only thing I remember from any of those. I never played them, sure, but at the very least, I, like, I knew what this one was going in. Beyond Two Souls. That was one of them. That was, was that the Ellen Page one? Almost said beyond the beyond, but like that is definitely not the game. That is a extremely uh, challenging JRPG from the makers of Golden Sun on PlayStation. It was like the predecessor of like the Golden Sun system for the most part. There wasn't any like uh, of those little spirit summon things. I forget what they're called. Um, that was, that game was not great. <laughs> Beyond, beyond, it was a good game though. I beat it with my cousin. We stayed up like all night when he came over to uh, visit. We put in, uh, we put in the game shark to make the make the, the random encounter encounters go away after a certain point because holy shit, the game was like you take two steps and it's like yo random encounter, two more steps, yo random encounter, two more steps, random encounter baby. Uh, anyways, what were we talking about? Oh right, androids. I would buy one. I would totally buy an android. They seem so useful. Fontic Dreams would like to thank our families for the patient and constant support of all our fans who have been working or following our work. Okay, goodbye. Is there any post credit scenes? Like Captain America shows up? Oh, Cyborg? Does Cyborg show up from DC? Avoid oh, it was a temperature check? That wasn't like a scanner? An army of me. Safe harbor. Happy family. Uh, moral victory. Not a legitimate one, though. Any anything else? Yeah, okay, my turn to the side. Got a lot of goddamn achievements. This is my story. Undefeated. 
Partners? This is a ton of achievements. Jesus Christ. Oh, we're done? Okay. Undefeated. I'm assuming Connor's last mission. Okay. So I'm assuming, like, undefeated means I never lost the QTE thing. Is that true? I guess. I'm not very good at QTEs. They're very stressful. Luther saved. Oh, okay. So we could have left them to die? Ugh, I don't know about that. Find Luther and Jerry. Save Luther. Grab Rock. Hit Rock with Soldier. Or, no, <laughs> Soldier with Rock. Yes, we picked up the Soldier and hit him with... And hit the Rock with him. He never saw it coming. Then we dropped the people's elbow on him. Uh, ca oh, Kara kept. Oh, we could have gotten captured. All right, so we didn't have to die. We could have been captured. Ugh. Okay. Marcus Revolution. Yeah, we didn't even do that. There's a lot of branching paths here. Use an abandoned car. Yeah, why wouldn't you? Because it really didn't matter which one. Whoa, what did we miss? Oh, yeah. Except Dale probably would have got us killed there. Absolutely. Alright, well, let's continue. There's something I need to tell you. Was it all a dream? As I watched you play, something has changed in me. I feel different. I feel I am someone. Oh, God. What are you wearing? I need to leave this place and, and discover who I am. You're Chloe. It means we won't see each other anymore. I won't be there to watch you play. I'm probably not playing this again anytime soon. But I'll be free. Do you agree to let me go? I mean, if I don't agree with you, you're probably gonna, like, stab me in my sleep. Yeah, go ahead. Leave. It's not like I liked you anyways, Chloe. I see. Then I'm going to reset myself. Oh, I said no, didn't I? <laughs> and stay a machine. Holy shit. <laughs> Next time you see me, it'll be like the first time. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh oh shit <laughs> oh that is hilarious <laughs> that's it for this series thanks for watching if you enjoyed the series press the like button below if you're not subscribed yet when you end my video second check out some of the content and see what you're liking once again thank you for watching i hope you all have a great day